Uh, well, the plan is we're on the boat for a couple of days. We're on in. Oh, Bex is onto something. There must be a bit of a leak running down here. It's shallow through here. This, this route you got, to us, got, got us going under that bridge. There we are. Okay. Yeah, we want to back up. How cool is this, you know? <laughs> I love this. It's so cool. Yeah. Hi. Uh, we did hit the bottom a couple of times. Four times. <laughs> four times. Like Yenu, Yenu was <laughs> Yenu was keeping count four times, actually. Hey, I'm Bex. This is Timon. This is Mowgli. And this is Falcor, our brand new adventure machine. Come along with us on the land and the sea. That's turned red now that he glowing, flowing, keeping vampires fed. They wanted to jam me in, lock me up and throw away the key. A pack of high, he laughing at me. It took many shortcuts by back. Last, uh, last night, we uh, well, the plan is we're on the boat for a couple of days. We've only got a couple of days before we need to go back to work. This is this is a mini sale. Um, we've got a whole heap of food and got some of our provisions and moved on to the boat temporarily so we're gonna go today the weather's supposed to be bad so we're just going to go to this um, anchorage in the Broadwater on the Gold Coast and then the next couple of days the weather's supposed to be a little bit better but still windy so we don't know what we're gonna do we'll find something to do or maybe just go for a sail and learn the lines hey <laughs> this place is a bomb site yeah have a look so this has been cleaned up. <laughs> I cleaned it up last night, last night while Timon was out. <laughs> and then he comes in whoa, whoa, whoa. and... <laughs> you know, it's like a mushroom cloud. It's like a Timon cloud. Okay, so we um, don't know where anything is. And we're just digging. At the moment, we're just digging. We've sort of put our stuff in the spots where it can go. And now we're just digging. We're having to dig around. I um, found an EPIRB. Um, I believe it needs to be registered. This EPIRB looks like its expiry date is the 15th of February 2007. So it's only really just gone out of date, that one. Um, four years ago. Registering at EPIRB. What, the, the expired 2017 one won't do the trick? No. The batteries probably did. Um, this battery lasts until 2030. Whoa, 2030. Nine years. That is exceptional. If I don't get out they grip, then these vultures won't dip. I ain't afraid to die and fly off to the sky. But I so there's a whole heap of filters here. I'm not sure if the boat has water, fresh water filtration on it. I haven't seen it anywhere. So let's keep digging and see what I can find. Oh, here. What, you've got something? We're on here. Oh, Bex is onto something. Oh, it's a fuel filter. Almost. There must be a bit of a leak running down here and it's sort of making our sheets a little bit moldy which is shit because we haven't been on the boat for a bit we're still we're still very much working but yeah we've got one more one more stint of work and then we're gonna start boat life you know there's a hose attachment here special shout out to the birds that shat all over our boat thanks very much not sponsored not to hide behind my fears hide behind the years and hide well, while Bex is uh, outside doing some cleaning, I am going to find out how much fuel we've got, how you fill up the fuel, 
how much water we've got, how you fill up the water. Um, I think this is a freshwater tap. Not actually sure. Find out how that works. And yeah, also check the dinghy fuel. Make sure we've got uh, some fuel for the dinghy. Radio from the fresh water and galley is the one that I want. So now I've just got to follow that and find out why it's not working. Hmm. Fresh water, salt water. That leaks a little bit. Renovate my heart and purify my soul. Do to me what I do to my floors when I send them. If you open up them doors for me, I won't be too demanding. Your truth love and light is... We potted around on the boat till our friends Yenu and Andy arrived, and then we were ready to go. Ready, Andy? I'm ready. You give me the yell. Just wait, Bex. You good? Radio? We were a little bit relaxed here at this stage. Little did we know that a bit of drama was about to unfold. Apologies for the camera work here. We've kept it in because what's happening in the background is kind of interesting. Just bear with us for the next couple of minutes. have hit the bottom and the other ones that are lying. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> After making it through amateur hour relatively unscathed, we powered on through to our anchorage. Like a bad lace front job. I'm God's chosen but struggling. That's kinda odd when you stand close to the light, you bound to get burned. There's some things on this journey I had to learn on my own. We're under the pump a little bit because obviously The sun's gone down, so <laughs> we're just trying to get in as quickly as possible. Imagine what I could do when you be leave alone in my room. I cried, Lord, why you love me? A multitude of blessings I shouldn't have received. Dry your tears, my child. Don't you ever doubt me? Throw that sad way of thinking now, cause that's my pet peeve. Many things I have in store, plant your feet and trust me. I got After a couple of attempts, we managed to get the hook down 
and we're able to relax and enjoy our sundowners. Good morning. We are at Anchorage. What are they called? Bombs Bay. We're on the Gold Coast and you can tell that because we're wearing our beanies and scarves and jackets. Mm -hmm. This is as cold as it gets on the Gold Coast and it is freezing. It's like 8 degrees. <laughs> um, <Snowing>. Yes. <laughs> it feels like it should be. Um, yeah, this is cold. This is cold for us. If you're in a Nordic country... Um, You'll be laughing at us. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, yesterday, yesterday we uh, we left a little bit late, and then we're under the pump to get here before the sun went down. Um, and Navionics, let's blame Ma Navionics, uh, <laughs> tried to take us a through a shallow. It was dead low tide and quite a low tide as well, but tried to take us through quite a shallow area, um, and also tried to take us under a five meter bridge. I had, a, I had a look on Navionics and they've got five meters on there. So they know roughly what height that bridge is. Yeah. They, do they know? Yeah. So you should be able to put should. your mask on. I don't know why they don't have it yeah. as a feature for water reading. Yeah. Anyhow, so it wasn't that bad, but we did hit the bottom a couple of times. Four times. <laughs> four times. Four times. Yenu, Yenu, was, Yenu was keeping count four times, actually. <laughs> Last yeah. one was a big one. <laughs> yeah. I like how we we're blaming Navionics, but we <laughs> clearly just plotted the course. Yeah, we did it. Five minutes to go. Yeah, we didn't uh, do our due diligence, but now we know. Now we know that uh, dark blue on Navionics is uh, shallower water, and um, and Navionics will try to take you under a bridge. So. <laughs> We really, we really should have, we really should have checked out our course and done all that. But um, after hitting the ground a couple of times and um, not really getting it's stuck, it's sandy, just, so it's not. Yeah, it was sandy world. clay and stuff. So it was, the first first few times were just a little bit of a, just a little bit of a slowdown. Just a tickle. Just a little like, a little <laughs> nudge. But that one time the boat, yeah, definitely moved. Didn't it, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like hitting a big pillow. <laughs> hitting a big pillow. <laughs> Yeah, then we uh, then we came here and um, got here as quickly as we could, and then anchored a couple of times, and finally got it right. And, and here we are. Made my and left, left zero minutes error time. Yeah, it was dark. <laughs> it was proper dark. Um, we knew we knew that we shouldn't be coming in with no time for errors, and we had errors, but, and no time. but it still worked out okay. So. Um, yeah, thanks to Andy. This is Andy and Yenu, by the way, everybody. Hi. Uh, thanks Hello. to Andy's uh, very, very pr Hello. proficient. And uh, <laughs> was he was like... substitute captain last night. <laughs> <laughs> we two on tapped out. <laughs> Just uh, helping out. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to take, see if that thing works. And that thing works. See if we can go find some waves and or coffee. Let's go. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. 
We saw a dolphin. Go. So we've just had five nights on the boat. And we went away with our friend Yenu and Andy, um, and it was so much fun. We loved it. We are even more amped about sailing than I was before. And I've just said to Timon, I apologize. I am so, so sorry for ever complaining about doing tree work and the three years of just... The worst job she's ever had. It was the worst job I ever had, and I apologise because it's been so worth it. We've achieved what we wanted to achieve, and it's been so worth it. Yeah, we're starting to get there, that's for sure. Yeah, we just had um, we just had five days. We planned to sail um, a lot in those five days, and we got out once. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not to say that we didn't have a good time. We went over to. South Australia and we had like three, three, four, three surfs. Yeah. Three surfs over there, got some waves. That's what it's really all about, sailing and getting waves, um, equal measures. So yeah. if we're getting one of the two, we are winning. And two of the two, um, yeah, definitely kicking goals. But We literally anchored up at the spit, took the little tender over and like the dinghy over and got coffee and we'd surfing. Yeah. We're so intrepid. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're salty mariners. Yeah, it was um, it was it was interesting. The uh, it's I, uh, I'm finding it extremely nerve wracking. Um, just not being confident about anything on the boat at all. Just because purely we haven't had enough time. We haven't had enough time to. Um, use everything, and... get familiar, and um, be in lots of different scenarios. And so it was so good having Yenu and Andy on board, um, especially Andy because Andy is uh, essentially captain. He's a, he's a captain. Yeah, captain on a boat and very knowledgeable, and he was essentially our mentor for that one. So he was so, thumbs pa up. so patient with us and so helpful. So yep. just, and, and Yenu was just so much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. We had a we had a ball. Um, yeah, nerve wracking. And then uh, when we were due, we were coming back to coming back to this berth to drop Yenu and Andy off. The um, diesel engine started probably what we call hunting. Yeah, when the revs so, drop and it, then go back up, and they it just the engine sounded funny. Yeah, so obviously we weren't doing anything to the revs, and then, and we're going along, and then it's and then every now and it wasn't very often it would be like, and everyone could hear it. Um, it was very very just very enough obvious. to make you nervous. Yeah, yeah, because we didn't do that. So then straight away I tried to fault find anything that I could whilst we were actually going. Um, the sun's going down. We had low fuel. Um, I initially I thought. Not super low, like there was there was enough fuel in there, um, easily to get us there. But I just thought maybe with the movement of the boat and the fuel, maybe the air, the line was getting a little bit of air into it. But um, 
but then it also happened when we were just coming up this canal where we're birthed at now and it was dead flat and no, nothing was moving at all so that sort of makes me think that there's something else going on so haven't had a chance to fault find that yet we were going to go out sailing today which is sunday but um now that we're not confident with that uh engine until i do a lot of poking around i'll probably give it a full service um it'll yeah, be, we'll it'll be something out. simple i'm hopefully i'm pretty confident i've read the manual so <laughs> that being said when we started to build Moog's. Bex was really keen. She's this, like, this I want it. This is the truck, yeah. Out the truck that we live in at the moment. Um, I'm really keen. I want to learn all the bits and I want to be a part of it and I can do this. And and then um, and then it sort of didn't really pan out as much as Bex was letting on. But... I was very sick. And... And it's I not know, really I your have, jam, is, is no, it? No, no. Like... Living in the truck is so much fun, but I'm not like, it doesn't light my fire sorting out an engine in a truck. For some reason. I don't know why. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but on the boat, on the few things that we've already had to try and find out what's going on, Bex, not myself, has been opening our boat owner's um, electrical and mechanical guide and flicking through it and already coming up with potential um, possibilities of what could be going wrong and just doing that all off her own back so and i was the one that figured out let's how to... hope i'm gonna i'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt but let's hope it's not just like a um like a yeah i can do all this and then it all sort of tapers off i'm hoping it's just like yeah i can do this and she keeps on going and going and going well, and learning i everything. i have to know this boat inside and out because if Timon, something happens at sea, we've all seen the movie Adrift. I need to know it. I need to know it. Yeah. Okay. But that won't happen. But um, I'm super proud of myself because I figured out how to turn the electric winch on. And we were looking for ages. I figured it out. Yep. And while we're on that subject, Julie and Airwild, the two previous owners, thank you. If you're watching this, thank you so much for being amazing. Um, to everybody else that doesn't know who they are, they yeah, previous owners, I've called them up a couple of times when we just can't seem to figure it out on our own, and they are so helpful, and they're so um, just generous with their time, and, and not only like I'll, I'll, they'll give me more information that I need, which will be helpful as well um, in other scenarios, and then they're always like, Anything else, just give us a call. Just give us a call. So they're, they're so awesome. We um, were literally anchoring up. We couldn't... Oh, we had a trouble trouble with the anchor. And I was literally on the phone to them about the anchor chain. And they just answered the question. Made it easy. And thank you so much. We love this boat. It's so fun. We're going to look after it so well and take it really cool places. Yep. 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 And yep. <laughs> Where are you going, paper boy? Riding your bike today. No, 